Hey guys, it's Justin here from Talk Plan News, and uh, today, and now we go for my time, 8:32 p.m. Friday Eastern Time. Seth Granke has been traded to the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and uh, really, the Brewers acquired uh, about three prospects that are in uh, their early 20s. They're all older than 22, so you know they should be called up anytime soon. They got the Brewers got John Helweg, who's at the 3.38 ERA in um, uh, Arkansas Double A. Uh, they also got Ariel Pena, who's got a 2.99 ERA in Double um, A as well. And the main guy, Gene Saguaro, who rated number 20, number 55 by Baseball America on the prospect list. This guy is over through his major league career. Um, but what he's, what's he doing in Arkansas, you say? Again in double A? He's been in 294. Uh, he's a middle infielder, 7 home runs, 40 RBIs. Pretty nice production. You could expect that batting average to boost, just like Matt Trout done in double A. He was betting around 330, but look at him now, killing the league. Really, uh, the main thing is why the Brewers, this is like the best they could have gotten from, from the Angels, really. Of course, everybody would love to have Mike Trout or Mark Trumbull, but why would you include it? I'd rather have those two guys than Granky. Anyway, um, yeah, Gene Seguara is like a middle infielder. He's a shortstop, and the Brewers, they're not going to contend this year. And you, the, and it's Granky's last year in his contract, so you got to get something in return. Um, really, uh, and the Angels get pitchers. They, they're trying to win now. They're trying to contend. They're behind Texas about, about four games. Two. Nah, it's four. It's four. About four. I'll check that. Anyway, yeah, they, they get, they, they're getting him. And the big question is, he's going from small market team to a relatively above average market team. And the Angels are five games behind. And we'll see how you can do in Anaheim. If this was the Dodgers, if I was the Dodgers, I wouldn't get this guy in New York. I mean, L.A. or New York would eat him alive. So if he's on either of those teams, he could have probably committed suicide. And I really mean that because this guy will break down. I'm surprised in the last start, Phillies fans didn't get on him. I know how oh, sure as hell I would have got in his head. Because I want to see my team win. <sighs> anyway, uh... It's so Granky, let's see how he does because the pressure's gonna be on. These guys are trying to contend right now. And if it doesn't work, oh well, he's out of his contract. Wanna resign him, resign him. But the Angels make a good splash. Uh probably the biggest splash so far. Let's see if Josh Johnson goes to the Rangers now. In retaliation because of this move. Or they get James Shields. I would take Josh Johnson because of his potential, but his injuries are the main question. Oh, is that Granky? It's a little Los Angeles Angel. Let's see what he could do in LA or Anaheim. It's gonna be very interesting. This guy has the stuff. He had a 216 RN09. He killed the league. I wish some guys on my team could do that. Or 216 is almost unheard of. Literally, if I play MLB 12 this show right now, I will not see a pitcher do that unless I get him bumped up everything. Still, I think they wouldn't get that. Yeah, that is crazy stuff. He had a 16. He had a, like about 229 innings pitched that year. Um, 24 strikeouts, 16 and 8. Look at record. But really, that, those are pretty crazy numbers. And Ellie's hoping they could get some of that. But he's going to Anaheim, which is a relatively above average market team. They make ton of money. Uh, they get spotlight a lot. But not as much as the Dodgers. But still, Anaheim. Let's see what he can do. Social anxiety disorder. He wanted the Yankees. He asked to request to the Yankees a couple of years ago because he wanted to win. But nope. And this guy has been on the decline ever since he joined the National League. Or should I say after his uh, 2009 campaign. 448 ERA, I believe. Um, and um, 11, I mean 10. 
and then like 378 the, yeah you, you see where I'm getting it by he's got that little Lord he's 344 right now so see what he could do this is Ed Joseph here reporting from Triple Play News please subscribe to my channel Ed Joseph please subscribe to Triple Play News and please subscribe to the Cash Kelly uh, not Cash Kelly Mr. Kelstar channel uh, the real sports talk they are amazing they do a lot of more videos WWE NFL all that stuff. Uh, I'm out of here.